Now we're gonna clear the boards mm -hmm. and we're gonna be drafting Pokemon. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I picked first last round, Riley, so I think it's only fair if I pick first again. That's, that's what do you, <laughs> what? So we don't confuse people at home. <sighs> All right, fine. Oh, Geo, dude, let's go! Isn't this your favorite? One of your this favorites? This is one of my favorites. Yeah, okay. He is a little muscly rock man. What else do I have to <laughs> He levitates. Doesn't even have legs. I was gonna say, no legs seems like a problem, though. He floats. He just is there. He's a rock with arms. Imagine him hitting a crossover or a tween, and he doesn't have legs. Oh, that's true. How would you even know if it was a tween? <laughs> Mind-boggling. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. And with that levitation power that he somehow possesses, I think it's magnets in the earth. Right. Kind of the magnetic field, that would make sense. I think he has a high riser. I don't think people are gonna expect it, but I think he's going upstairs with it. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm gonna put him at my two and he's just gonna be a high volume player. He has the green light all season long. Maybe I'll just draw some X's there. Oh, Jesus. You know what that means in a cartoon? Dead. That means you're dead. Yeah, especially in like Pokemon. Okay, I don't know if, especially Pokemon. Usually when they die, they just go back into their Pokeball. No, but they have X's over their eyes first. Usually little swirlies first as they get all dizzy. It's like squirrel. It's like, squirrel. And then it falls <laughs> to the ground and then it has X's. And then Ash is like, oh no, squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, come here, buddy. You're going to be okay. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good Ash. Good Ash impression. <laughs> come on. A good Ash impression? Oh, I needed something for that. <laughs> This is Smoochum. At the ideal first pick. How does kissing help basketball? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure. That. Yeah, I've been wondering the same thing. I'm doing a little scouting real quick. Type, we got um, Ice and Psychic. That's gonna help. Yeah, you're right. You'll know the other team's plays. Ooh, evolves into the most problematic Pokemon of all time. It's yeah. interesting. Let's keep it where it's at then. Hidden ability is hydration. Okay, so I'm gonna bank on that. You just drafted your water boy. <laughs> <laughs> Never gonna run out of gas though. Always hydrated. Doesn't need to even stop for a Gatorade or a Prime. No one has ever said that about an NBA player ever. Stays hydrated for a long time. <laughs> this guy's never thirsty. Well, a lot of minutes. That's what I'm saying. And that to me feels like a liability if Smoochum's on the court for 40 minutes a night. Smoochum's at the one. Wow. Okay. Wow. She's psychic. She knows what your team's gonna do. That will come in handy. All right. Uh, what's the next movie, Grant? Pokemon, the first movie. Yes. Oh my God. Finally, something that I've seen. You saw the first two. I thought that was an interesting start. Oh, Maybe. you're right. I have seen Social Network, and yeah. I've seen Interstellar, and I've seen Ferris Bueller's Big Day Off. That's right. This is like the highest percentage of the movies I've seen. I didn't game. even know they made this. When did this come out? Pokemon 2000. 1998. Oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> well, then I definitely didn't see it. <laughs> Big Mewtwo villain one in this one. All the all the cryogenic tanks they're yeah. keeping Mewtwo in. It's a scary. You get all the evil creatures. They he turns them all like evil army. They have to fight against themselves. It's like a very dark film. Like very. Very dark, <laughs> like the themes they're playing with. I mean, it was almost like fucked up to show yeah. us to kids. Yeah, know? biblical wow. undertones. Oh, really? I had an original movie poster in my childhood bedroom that is just like so sad that it's gotten lost. Oh, those posters are so cool. Oh, like, it, was, it was Mew, yeah, it was Mew like looking all dark and fucking sexy, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah you'd have said before that he turns you on a It's bit. thighs, it's all, all in the thighs, thighs, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Built like an absolute brick shit house. that yeah. thing. <laughs> Like, fuck. I think this movie brought me to tears when I was a kid, too. Yes. Yeah, it like, scared me, made me cry a little bit. Do you want to see my impression of Ash Ketchum from the Pokemon movie? Oh, I'd love to. So I'm funny to you? <laughs> funny how? Like, like a clown? <laughs> oh, give me a second, I'm a little... There you go. Nice. Yeah, that's good. Pikachu. <laughs> I choose you. Pika, Pika, why are you always talking like that? Bulbasaur, get fucked. <laughs> Three, two, one. 91. 72. 69. It is 16%. They trounced that son of a bitch. <laughs> 16 don't seem fair. It doesn't matter. You still got that fucking point. Anymore. Like, what are You're we doing? You're telling me Black Adam's better than the first Pokemon movie? <laughs> like, what happened? <laughs> what happened? Like, did something happen in the movie that I missed? Like, is there like a whole like part of the timeline is just missing? Like, yeah. Pikachu's super anti-Semitic. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy problematic. We just missed it. Mewtwo's like clearly Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> Charizard, I think Kyrie Irving might be right. <laughs> You 
got Bellsprout. I don't know about Bellsprout. The plant fleshlight Pokemon. The mouth. Right. Is what has me concerned. The sucking. Yeah, sure. No arms no either. No arms, yeah. Yeah, that to me is going to be the first problem. Right. <laughs> but maybe with the sucking, Bellsprout offers something defensively we've never seen in the <laughs> NBA before. Which is... <laughs> That kind of at activity. The basketball itself, or we would no we? the opponent. <laughs> oh, gosh. I think Bell Sprout will be able to drain my opponent's energy right out of their bodies directly. <laughs> I thought it was problematic to have a kisser on my team. Yes, you got a full I on have, sucker. <laughs> yeah, I have a full on plant sucker. I'm gonna put Bell Sprout at the four and just let him go to town on whoever <laughs> you dare put in your front court. <laughs> Next, we got Pokemon. Oh. Pokemon. Choose me, Pokemon. This is the best song so far on the list for me. Just an outrageous tune. Yes. What a performance. A uh, blowtorch anthem. Yeah. Just a bit of a key change. It's got like a movement to the song. It's just amazing. Outstanding. Anthemic. Stadium rock. Out. Standing. It's so good. Outstanding. <laughs> yeah, it will stick with me for the rest of my life. As will the pokey rap. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing it right now. No. Okay, I'm not gonna do it, but yeah. I'm saying the pokey rap. You gotta get a cameo insane. for that stuff. Yeah. Easiest ass of the day. So I got Roselia, which is kind of a Gen 3 favorite. A lot of people's favorite Pokemon from really? Gen 3. Yes, this is a very popular Pokemon, very aesthetic, very pretty. There is a certain grace yes. that Roselia carries. Uh-huh. And obviously, huge hands. Yeah, that's the thing. Those big flower hands, I think that could be good on defense. I think so, too. My worry is going to be just that competitive edge, man. I don't think that I have, like, a intense player no yet. No anger yet. Nah, I've got no anger yet. Yeah. I need some anger in the locker room. Mm -hmm. It can't just be sweet compliments all night. <laughs> and kissing. <laughs> kissing and flowers? <laughs> what is this, a first date? Yeah, I don't know. We gotta win a basketball game. <laughs> and this ain't a first date either because these players are getting sucked. Well, that can happen on the first date. It can, but... Bellsprout is not very Not in my forward. world. I have principles. Huh? Wait till you see that Bellsprout mouth up close and personal and your mind might change. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> Roselia going to the three. That okay? makes sense. Mm, I think we could build a bulimic society. Yellowtail? Uh, <laughs> Bulbasaur? Uh, Charmander? Uh, <laughs> it's like, where are you sometimes? Like, what world are you in? Uh, I've been working on a new impression, by the way. This, okay. is, this is my Raichu impression. Oh, great. Okay. Let's hear it. I'm Raichu. <laughs> I'm another little Pokemon. Use Thunderbolt, they say. Mm. They say use Thunderbolt. Mm. I'm so happy you evolved me into Raichu. It's a wonderful Pokemon as well. Not a lot of credit for Raichu, it's all about Pikachu. Pikachu's everybody's favorite. Little do they know, Pikachu ruined the economy. He did, he did a very bad job. He did job. a bad job with the <laughs> We're gonna do a good job, me and Ash. Zap zap, I'm a bigger mouse. <laughs> Oh God, you got Ditto. Ditto has the capability of doing whatever he wants, right? He turns into any other Pokemon. Could he turn into Shaquille O'Neal? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Could he turn into Primetime D. Wade? I think Ditto has to be facing the person that they turn into. So I think you more get a choice of these five. Whoever they're guarding is who you're gonna turn into. Okay, I like that. So it's an even matchup wherever you put Ditto, essentially. Yeah, I don't love it though. This is like, I'll never have a matchup advantage. But you'll also never have a disadvantage. Could he turn himself into a bell sprout? Maybe, what, double suck? Is Dump, it? yeah, oh. exactly. Okay. <laughs> that, I'm talking post game, for me, for old coach. <laughs> that seems like a conflict of interest. Coach needs gobbled up. Uh, yeah, not by your Ditto, players. Ditto, turn into Bellsprout. The coach can't hook up with the players, man. That's not hooking up. It's transactional. Okay. Ditto's gonna play the five. <laughs> Alright, let's see what I can do here. Needs a point guard. Oh boy, wow. I've got Ash Ketchum. And this is an ideal point guard. This is a guy who knows how to handle balls. <laughs> and this is a guy who really knows how to like assemble a team, really yeah. run a team. Absolutely knows how to command yeah. a crew of cartoon characters. That's kind of his whole thing. And during the off season, you can't underappreciate his ability to recruit other people onto his That's team. Saying, whether yeah. they want to go or not. Yeah. He's going <laughs> to catch them and bring them to your team. He's going to put LeBron James in a little cage and drag him to your facility. 
Okay. Now Ash is kind of like a CP3 type character. Okay. Beats a lot of gym leaders, but never becomes a Pokemon master. He has trouble winning a championship, but mm -hmm. this could be his year. He's not yeah. used to having Peppa Pig down on the block. That's true, <laughs> or Shigo to pass the rock off to when he gets that <laughs> dreaded double. I got myself a Pikachu, and that is the team leader that I needed. The perfect balance of cute and intense, obviously used to being the main character, and can electrocute any opponent. <laughs> but small, but got big ups. That's true. Absolute leapers on him. Kind he, of a Donovan Mitchell type. Yeah, he's like a D-Mitch. Yeah. <laughs> you just basically drafted Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, and Allen Iverson all in one. And that's why I am going to have to move Smoochum out of the way, let Pikachu run everything from the one. <laughs> I think there's a chance like Barack Obama could have seen it. Us. Really? I think Sasha or Malia would have seen us. You used to do a Pikachu impression that sounded like Barack Obama. What? I did? <laughs> yeah. Well, you thought you still. I think still do. I still yeah. do a Pikachu impression. Right. You still think it sounds like Pikachu? Let him hear it. I guess. Here he okay. goes. Here he yeah. goes doing a Pikachu impression. Uh, I'm Pikachu. Uh, I'm a I'm a Pokemon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, little yellow mouse. <laughs> uh, very cute. Sasha, Malia, uh -huh. Michelle. See now, uh, now you're naming Barack Obama's family. <laughs> Uh, How's that Pikachu? Uh, Ash is my trainer. Uh, right, that's uh, Pikachu. Uh, Sasha? Molina? No! <laughs> Michelle? Pika Pika? Yes. <laughs> my wife Michelle? Uh, <laughs> Pikachu can't get married. <laughs> Lightning Bolt Tail? Uh, we're all over the place, Riley. Uh, okay. Cute Pokemon? Get <laughs> <Sorry>. something's <laughs> off! What on earth is that? I don't even know this one. Girder. That's Girder. Girder? I got a Girder? Girder. Is Girder strong? Is that what I'm seeing here? Let me pull up the Bulbapedia for you. Please, Bulbapedia me, because this is weird, weird. Looks like it's from Invader Zim. Muscular Pokemon. Fighting type. Oh, yeah. Introduced in Generation 5. Abilities, guts or sheer force. Uh, height, 3 foot 11. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. Weight, 88 pounds. Pretty small, but really <laughs> strong. It's a fighter. A 3 foot 11, 88 pound fighter. Yeah, but one of its moves is called guts. Yeah. <laughs> so you tell me. <laughs> I got Bellsprout and Girder, who's got guts move on him. We're not going to have a hard time finishing. And I would like to make one roster move here. This is the beauty of Ditto. Ditto's going to my one. That makes sense. It neutralizes your Pika Pika. <laughs> and I'm going to put Girder at the two and move Geodude down to the three. Okay. Oh. Jigglypuff. <laughs> Don't be fooled by how cute she is. This is a cold-blooded killer. Yeah, <laughs> an absolute murderer on the court. In Smash, there is a move that Jigglypuff has where she, if she just falls asleep next to you, you just die instantly. <laughs> Literally just a... <laughs> A secret weapon. Just as like a bipartisan fan of the game. Right. I'm excited. Thank you. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm, yeah, me too. I want the team I'm going up against to be the best. To be the very best. Yeah, absolutely. That no one ever was. To catch them is my real test. Yeah. And to train them is my cause. Yeah. <laughs> so if you think Jigglypuff was good in college, wait till I spend a summer with her. <laughs> And not like that. Yeah. No, okay. I got it. Like training camp. Training camp. Yeah. Summer league. Exactly. Yeah. Summer league. Yeah. Whoa. Who's this freak? That's Marini. Old Marini. Well, time to hit Bulbapedia again. Yep, I'm going to have to. Marini, poison and water type. Uh, says she's merciless. <laughs> Height. One foot four Ooh. and 17 pounds. Okay, so not working with height, but I am working finally with a merciless yes. Pokemon. That's what you wanted. That is what I wanted. Yeah. Okay, I wanted somebody to get in there and bring a cold-blooded approach to the locker room. <laughs> There's no friends on the court. No. We're not out there... Kissing. You literally have a I have one player that's doing that. Okay. I'm, yeah, saying I'm saying the rest of the team can't be out there doing that. They're not friends with each other, and they're definitely not friends with these fucks over here. Oh my god. Gotta do a grand shift here. Going power forward with Roselia. Just defense. Big hands. Yeah. I thought about moving Smoochum down a little bit. I can't do that. I'm no. gonna go Marini at the three knee. I like it. The what? Marini at the three knee. Got it. <laughs> Have a little fun, why don't you? No fun in sports. Which Pokemon character's got the most swag? Right, that's this guy. Pokemon got the most swag? I say fucking, what's his name? Scyther. Scyther got the most swag, man. Which Pokemon is the most swag? Uh, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, Voltorb. So like a little electric ball. Basically a Pokeball that can electrocute you. This is not easy. 
I'm gonna put him at the five. It doesn't really matter where <laughs> I put him. It's just it's just a ball. Right. His job is here to energize the team. Yeah, you gotta charge your flashlight. And we're gonna save a lot of money on stadium utilities. Voltorb's gonna run the entire stadium too? I imagine pretty easily. I feel like he's gonna run out of energy, man. Like first evolution, like he doesn't have just unlimited electricity. How's he run out? How does anything run out of electricity? You know what I mean? But it's an animal too at the same time. It's not an animal. <laughs> what is it? It has eyes and feelings. What animal would this be based off of? Aren't all Pokemon creatures? Okay, but it's not an animal. It's not a machine. It kind of is. <laughs> it has eyes and feelings. It's a trinket. A trinket. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can ever run out. All right, here we go. Give me some more joy in. Oh. Oh. God. Arguably the most powerful Pokemon of all time, I got Mewtwo. <laughs> Can I get a height check on Mewtwo? I need a scouting report right now. Six foot seven. Nice. Six seven and pretty beefy. And I think the ability to levitate slash fly wherever it needs to go. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The only thing I'm worried about here is your point guard. Ah. Kind of the kryptonite to Mewtwo's potential here. But I'm gonna go with Mewtwo at my five. I think that makes a lot of sense. Even though the sci-fi powers might clash a little better with Rick Sanchez at the four, for height reasons, Mewtwo is my five. And so, oh, oh, so fuckable, that Mewtwo. <laughs> I mean, yeah, thunder thighs on that thing. Absolute skull crackers. Oh, man. Well, I got a very short team here, but I'm going to round it out with Squirtle. Wow. Squirtle. I got two franchise players here, Pikachu and you Squirtle. Really They've been there from the start. They're vets. Very yeah. popular. Like, yes. I got two of the five most popular Pokemon. I know. I am going to sell a shit ton of jerseys. Absolutely. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to put Squirtle at the five. Yeah. And I'm going to kind of let Pikachu be Luca up top and let Squirtle be Joker down on the five. You know I mean, that's I mean? a nasty pick and roll right there. Yeah. Okay. And also, <laughs> as we've said before, I just have an electric ball as five. So Electric is super effective against water. Correct. That's kind of a bummer. I gotta go with my Pokemon roots here. Thank you for pointing that out. I'm no going problem. to switch Roselia and Squirtle. I'm gonna let Squirtle play the four and I'm gonna get Roselia at the five because electric is not super effective against grass types. You're kind of stuck in like a Pokemon mindset though. This is hoops, man. My team is Pikachu at the one, Smoochum at the two, Marini at the three, Squirtle at the four, and Roselia at the five. I just can't help but think you got a much better team. I have Ditto at the one, Girder at the two. I have Geodude at the three. I have a Bellsprout at the four. And at center, I have Voltorb. All right. Let us know who drafted the better Pokemon team. 